Hi, greetings, and thank you for joining this discussion on Oracle Data Management Platform, widely known as Blue Kai. It will help brands or marketers to increase their reach, improve the conversion, optimize their spend on digital marketing, as well as provide that consistent personalized consumer experience. My name is Satyajit Rajput. I have more than two decades of experience on six transformation working with the brands. And I'm also a frequent online shopper, hence I understand the challenges on the brands as well as consumer side to provide or get that personalized, consistent, contextual experience in real time. Today's consumer journey is unpredictable. It's no more traditional linear journey. The consumers are interacting with the brand on different channels and devices at different point of time in their buying cycle. And brands have silos of system to interact with those consumers at different point of time. And hence, it makes it difficult for the brands to connect those identities and interactions of those consumers to understand their journey and provide that consistent real-time personalized contextual experience to those consumers. And many of these consumers, as per Gartner, have already researched and identified the products which they want to buy from which brand before they even connect with the brands. So they've already completed two thirds of their buying cycle. And if the brands don't know those consumers and that buying cycle, they might be losing out that opportunity to convert those consumers on their digital properties or their stores. And hence, data is the biggest asset in this experience economy and brands need to adopt that data-driven marketing. And as Oracle, we have invested billions of dollars in acquiring, building those data assets we have 8 billion profiles, more than 8 billion profiles available with more than 50,000 attributes in terms of their age, demographies, their intent to buy, their online, offline behavioral transactions, where they go, their travels and destinations, working with our own data assets and 100 plus data providers to get that unified view of the consumers with our own patented ID of technology. And this makes us as the world's largest third party marketplace. And we also allow you to ingest your first party data from your digital properties, the mobile devices, or sorry, mobile apps, or your CRM systems and off offline stores, POS systems, to help you to unify those consumer profiles with the rest of that Luca universe of 8 billion profiles with 50,000 attributes to know who are those consumers and how can we retarget those consumers. And then we also can bring the partner data, which is, we call it a second part data, with whom we are working to sell your products and services or the banking partners or media partners who are willing to share the data this with your brand. Now this makes the data management platform to help you to unify those data for first consumer profiles from your first party data, second party data, to a universe of blue sky uh, data logics data, or like a own audience as well as branded partner audience to add meaning to that data with those 50,000 plus attributes to know more about that audience and help you to select the right set of audience, a precise set of audience for you to target for, for digital marketing campaigns to show them those creatives as a display ads, banner ads, mobile ads, social ads, search ads, or hyper personalization your websites or apps and email personalization with the help of 
200 plus data out partners, which are seamlessly integrated with our platform. We are agnostic to any of these partners. Hence, you can use mix and match of those ad tech partners with different segments of data. And that's where, that's where it helps you to optimize your ad spend and increase return on ad spend by at least two to three times what our brand, our consumers, our customers have seen. And leveraging that third party data, a lookalike audience, you can see a substantial increase in the reach and conversion. Now let's look at this platform briefly. As you can see here, as a DMP platform, on the left hand side, we have those category of audiences available as third party data, including audience by Oracle as well as the branded data partners uh, audience, which is shared with us. And then as you further go down, you can have your first party data or second party data ingested into the system under different categories and segments. Now you can pick and choose those segment of audiences and create, create the precise segment of audience which you want to target as a part of your digital marketing campaign. So if you want to know how much data we have just to, in terms of audience by Oracle, you can see here when I select audience by Oracle, it shows 8.06 billion profiles are available and these profiles can also further be filtered with the help of recency of those cookie IDs, mobile IDs, devices, device IDs, and then frequency of those interactions as well as by country. So for example, you, I want to know how much of that data available for India in terms of profiles and apply those filters. It shows me close to uh, 398, 400 million profiles just by audience by Oracle. And as you select the various other audiences in terms of branded data sharing partners or data logics part, data logics audience which you have acquired, it reaches to almost five, 500 uh, million, 550 million profiles for India. You can also search by categories. For example, if you are a real estate company and want to know how much uh, of the audience is in those categories related to real estate, you can pick and choose that audience here and add into a segment. And if you uh, further drill down to this data, we can see that this data is categorized into various subcategories like the industry they belong to, B2B audiences, the demographies, the life stages and events, as you see here on the left-hand side. And further, we can drill down to demographies, let's say. So if you are a real estate company launching a new project, and you want to target a specific set of audience because of the cost of those, uh, those apartments or villas is substantially high and hence you want to target the audience, maybe an NRI audience or the audience which has more than uh, 100,000 household income, 100,000 household income. So you can pick and choose those audiences here and add into your segment so easy to use, right? And you can see that how much audience is created in the whole process. You can also pick and choose uh, how much of that audience is available in various age brackets as well. Because you may be thinking that uh, 13, 30 to 39 or 40 to 49 is, is the right age bracket to sell my uh, properties. And you may be looking for the family, comp uh, see family attributes as well in terms of. Uh, uh, number of members in that family to sell those four bedroom apartments or villas in that audience. Now, as you further go down, you may have your first party audience, which is ingested. And you don't want to target that audience, which is already converted or already bought your products in the last 15 days, 30 days. Hence, you want to exclude that audience from this audience, right? So you can uh, you know, leverage exclude button to, to exclude that audience so that you don't annoy them by showing the same creatives for which they already bought the product, right? And you can also look at the ID source of the audience. How much of that is blue ID, desktop IDs, cookie IDs, mobile IDs, 
uh, Google ad tracking IDs, Apple IDs, right? And once you save this audience, you know how much of that audience is available for you to target precisely for your digital marketing campaign, and then helps you to connect that audience with 100 plus ad tech partners, which we have seamlessly integrated and with this platform. So those ad tech partners could be Google, TV360, it could be Facebook, it could be Twitter, it could be MGID, Tabola, uh, you know, AppNexus. And you have, you can pick and choose that ad tech partners depending on cost, depending on their performance with the specific segment of audience you have created as part of campaign. This helps you to leverage the combination, permutation combination of those segments of audience, which is immediately targeted uh, from a conversion point of view with the best ad tech partner, which may be costly, but audience which is going to be nurtured over the period of six months because they may not be buying those products immediately. Hence, you want to leverage a lower cost ad tech partner to keep them engaged uh, in terms of your products and services as a brand. Right. So you can, it's so simple to connect that audience with the respective ad tech partner and then have those creatives uploaded in those ad tech partners so log in and uh, then display those creatives, show those creatives or leverage those search ads to bring that audience on your digital properties when they click on those ads. And then further leveraging those attributes of data management platform, you can hyper-personalize the content on your digital properties to further improve the engagement and conversion. And we have seen multifold ROI with this approach for many of our banks. And you have those fantastic reports available for you to analyze your set of audience which you have selected as segments or first party audience which you have ingested from your digital properties. Right, so when I uh, pick up that first order, First party audience ingested here, let's say a sample ad campaign is the audience which is uh, ingested here in the platform. When I click on update, it shows me how much of the inventory of that audience, which is 9.6 million profiles are available, which are ingested of the first party audience here in this platform. And then as I click on go, it starts looking at categories of audiences, which are overlapping with this audience of first party data, and also looks at various attributes which are closely matching with your first party data to help you to know that which are those categories which can be further targeted and can see a better conversion because of these closely matching attributes, which we call it as a relative index, which is which is calculated in terms of relative index for those categories with your selected set of audience or with your first party data. So as you see in this report now, you can pick and choose those categories which are closely matching because they have higher index, relativity index with your first party audience. It shows that let's say for example, Apple iPad users are having the overlap of 3 million audience with your first party data and has volume of 4.5 million, that means additionally 1.5 million audiences available for you to target because there is a higher probability of conversion with this audience because of relativity index of this category with your first party data and shows what's the CPM rate of that audience to buy. And so similarly, as you further go down, you know, see, you can see various audiences are available. You may leverage based on CPM, based on relative index, What's your immediate target to, to engage with that audience? What is the uh, audience which you can nurture over the period of six months, nine months with a lower cost of CPM and ad tech partners? And you can add audiences into your current campaigns or new campaigns. And it also helps you to understand the profile of that audience which is landing on your digital properties or your uh, which uh, in your CRM systems or POS systems. 
as as a brand you would have seen that almost 80 to 90 percent audience which is coming on 100 000 audience which is coming on let's say on your digital properties may not have signed up on your platform or signed up on your app now with a lot of efforts you bring that audience in your digital properties and if they bounce or abandon the the browser how can you retarget that audience based on the audience analysis here to see what kind of audience which you can you would like to retarget to improve the conversion so here it shows that the audience which you have ingested let's say as a first part data from your digital property in what categories that audience falls in terms of demographics let's say age or household income or children or intent to buy interested to buy or in market to buy right and when you look at this information as you see here in the age demographic category you have 55 percent highest relativity index is there for each bracket of 65 and older with the volume substantially high available to to target because you may have this works for uh, older people which you you see substantial conversion and this may be the right category for you to pick and choose and target those audiences for better conversion and as you cover the go down when you see the people based on their income bracket you can see that my audience of more than 200,000 income bracket has 114, uh, the highest relativity index. Hence, this is the audience which I need to be targeting because this is a higher conversion for my products. So you may select multiple audiences by just picking and choosing, uh, selecting those checkbox and add those in the audience and, and, and hence campaigns. You can, you may, if you are selling a female related products, you can see female, uh, male gender demographies their volumes and relative index and as you further go down you may see that that audience who might have already bought your products but they are also in market for certain other products like uh, electronics consumer goods or other products which you may be selling on your digital properties and hence they could be your upsell and cross sell opportunities at the same time so if you look at uh, this platform, the amount of information, the analytics, the AI and ML capabilities help you to understand the right set of audiences to target to improve the conversion and hence increase the revenue for your organization. Okay. And we have seen that many of our brands have seen uh, at least multifold, at least two to three times increase in terms of reach and conversion and 20 to 30 percent reduction in ad spend with the optimization of the audiences and ad tech partners or platforms depending on the cost of that audience and uh, cost of serving uh, the creatives through those ad tech partners so if you are uh, let's say 100 crore revenue company and if you see 20% on a conservative side increase in the revenue with the substantial reach with this platform, that itself is a multifold ROI. And uh, today's uh, world, where you see substantial clampdown, lockdowns of uh, cities and malls and stores, you have a opportunity to bring that audience and sell products and services through your digital properties to help them in in those moments of festive festivals or celebrations by delivering those products at home and if you are a company which wants to expand beyond india or newer markets with the newer products it's very difficult for you to know those audiences in those territories and uh, those uh, uh, cities or uh, regions without such platform 
and you can have marketing strategies based on this information whether you want to launch a store which could be a very costly affair in those regions or territories or whether you want to serve those territories by bringing those audiences on your digital properties and then delivering those products to their home that's it thank you very much and if you like this solution you can get in touch with me connect with me on linkedin i have provided those details here along with my uploaded video let's take this conversation forward so that i can help you we can work together to see how you can uh, dramatically increase your reach and improve the uh, convergence and increase or uh, in revenue for your organization or customer acquisition for your organization and reduce your ad spend thank you